This is a quick demonstration using the homemade vibrating table that I made. And I've got instructions on how you can make this on the website. This particular one has got, it's just a piece of wood with a hand massager strapped down to it. The front strap here is just nylon strap. The back is one of these uh, plastic zip ties. I originally had a hose clamps around here, but the hose clamps were kind of brittle and broke. So I replaced them with these and I have used it ever since. Now using a vibrating table is probably the best way to get perfect castings. Uh, I've mixed up some dental stone here and I mixed it up actually pretty thick. This is probably a little thicker than it should be for hobby casting. Uh, but what you want to do, if you want to get the bubbles out of this, what I do is I turn the vibration table on and I let it vibrate the bubbles out of the cup first. So kind of hold the cup down on here and turn it on. <laughs> And that'll help get any of the air bubbles that's currently in the plaster right now to come to the surface while they're in the cup. Now let's go ahead and cast this thing. I've got the uh, Fieldstone mold number 70 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the uh, debubbleizer or surfactant on the surface. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour this mold about halfway full while it's vibrating. And when I'm pouring, I'm going to try to pour on these ridges between the blocks, not directly down into the pockets. Now if you have any spillover of the plaster like I do right here, just take a paper towel and wipe it up. And then set this mold over to the side and if it's still a little bit low you can go ahead and fill it the rest of the way with plaster at that point. Now I'm going to go ahead and demold this and let's see how good our vibrating table did. I'm just going to break off the excess that's around here and I'm going to take a block out and we'll take a look at it. Now as far as I can see on this particular one, I don't see any air bubbles at all on this. Uh, the vibrating table is really the best method to use, especially if you've got a mold like number 85, the uh, uh, cavern accessories or mold number uh, 58 and 59 that have got the uh, uh, books and they've got the beds and they've got a lot of, lot of small little detailed pieces like the crates and such. Those you really, really, it's helpful to, to use the vibrating table with.